Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can build this cake lava trap. So right in front of me, we've got basically a normal decorated room. It doesn't look like there's anything um, suspicious about this room. But if I go ahead and I uh, steal a bit of this person's cake, I'm going to start getting burnt by this lava here. I'm going to die and I'm going to lose all my items. So this is a really awesome way you can prank and troll your friends on a server. It's not obvious that eating the cake, it will dispense lava at you and then you will die. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build this now. So the materials you're going to need is 8 redstone dust, 1 redstone torch, 1 redstone repeater, 1 redstone comparator, 5 dispensers, 2 hoppers, one block of redstone, nine carpets of your choice, one cake, and 64 blocks of your choice. So the first thing that we're going to do is dig out a 3x3 three three hole. So we're simply going to go 1, 2, 3, then let's go 3 this way. Now we've already done one, so we just need to do two more. Then we're going to dig back this way and get in line with the start and then just dig out these two remaining blocks here. Then basically we want to dig out a plus sign, so we're going to dig out this one in the middle here, the one into the right, the one at the bottom, and then the one on the left, and not the middle one. Then you want to get your five dispensers, and what we're going to do is we're going to place them on top of these five blocks here. So just place them facing upwards like so. On these three front holes here, we're going to place redstone down in the bottom. And then on this last one, we're going to place our redstone repeater facing into that bottom block, facing towards the front. Now at the back here, what we're going to do is we're going to get three blocks of our choice and we're simply just going to place three like so. On this leftmost block, we're going to be placing our cake. Then what we're going to do is place two blocks behind it, make a two high pillar like so. Place another block behind, and this is where our redstone comparator is going to go. Now to the left of the comparator, place a block, and then place your block of redstone. Place two redstone dust down like so. Then to the right side of the comparator here, we're going to place a block. You can crouch and right click to do that. And then we're going to place a hopper going into this right side of the block. We're going to dig out the block we just placed, and then we're going to make the other hopper go into um, this hopper we placed on this right side and the funnels should go into each other. Then what you want to do is just go ahead and just place one block of your choice inside there and it should start alternating between the two hoppers. We're then going to lead this comparator here into our block. Then under it we're going to place a piece of redstone dust. Then to the left we're going to dig out this block here, redstone down the bottom. We're then going to dig out the two blocks um, in front of that redstone there, then dig down two more. We're going to put a redstone torch on this front face of that block there, and then our remaining piece of redstone dust down on the ground like so. Then finally what we're going to do is cover up these holes here. Now before we cover up these dispensers, you simply want to get five lava buckets, and you want to place one of them in each of these dispensers. And then you want to cover up this 3x3 grid here with your carpet, so make sure you're crouching so you don't open up the GUI. And you are now good to go. Now before I cover this up and show you guys a good way to disguise this, I'm going to teach you guys how this works. So let's start with the cake here. What is happening behind is we're actually detecting how much of the cake is actually left. When it's a full block like this, the comparator sends out a signal of 16. Now, this will only output if the signal strength is stronger than what we're actually inputting on the side here. So this redstone here is a signal strength of 16. This one here is a signal strength of 15. So because 16 is stronger than 15, it's going to output. But when we actually eat one piece of this cake, the signal strength is less than 15. So it means it's not going to output at all, which um, this turns off that redstone, allowing this redstone redstone torch to turn on. Powering this redstone 
that goes into the repeater down at the bottom there um, and then that powers all the dispensers firing the lava. Now why we have these hoppers here is because the comparator doesn't actually update when you, when you eat a piece of a cake. Um, it's actually a bug in 1.8 and hopefully it's fixed in 1.9. Now if this bug is fixed you don't actually need these hoppers over here so you can get rid of them. And yeah, it's really simple. Hopefully that explained how it worked. Sorry for the bird in the background. I can't really stop each time he squawks. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can disguise this and make it not look like a trap. But before we do it, what you want to do is simply just break this piece of redstone dust down the bottom here. Just in case you um, break this cake here, this would actually set off the lava below and we don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to replace this cake. Um, so it's going to break that. And then what I'm going to do is actually going to put stairs here facing upwards in the corners. I'm going to place two slabs like so. On the sides, again, we're going to have some stairs like this upside down. Two half slabs in the corner. We're going to get a normal block of cobblestone and place it at the front here like so. And then a good way to actually ensure that they die is put a trapdoor here and then we're also going to place a stone button on top of this block here. When you go inside, and what we're going to do is we're going to place our cake back on that block there. But what we want to do is just under this as well, we might want to place the half slabs. Just give a bit more, a better feel to it. We're then going to give this like a kind of a uh, an outside wall area. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put half slabs on the roof here. And also a good thing about this is that it basically stops them from jumping up. So there's nowhere that they can stand on that can allow them to get out of lava inside this room. So there's no way I can jump up on these benches here. Now finally you want to do some decoration. So we're simply going to get out like a chest or a furnace. We can replace like some of these um, counters here with like a chest. Then we might put a furnace over here. We can also get out um, some flower pots, stick them around randomly just everywhere, make it look a bit more natural. Might also have like a grill top as well. We'll think that like that's like a grill type thing. We're going to try and make this, basically it looks like a kitchen. So this is a cool way you can disguise a trap and honestly it doesn't even look like there's anything here. It just looks like a normal decorated room in your house. And now make sure you place that piece of redstone dust back down on the ground there as well so the trap will actually work. So that's going to end off this redstone tutorial today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any ideas for redstone tutorials, let me know down in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. I died. What a shame.